Today is the 55th anniversary of the Kampala Archdiocese, which started in 1966. Unlike the past, today's event involved heavy security at Lubaga Cathedral following the recent terror attacks. The Apostolic Administrator of Kampala Archdiocese, Bishop Paul Semogerere, celebrated the Mass, assisted by the retiring Pope Nuncio, Archbishop Agassini Kasuja, who returned home after 42 years in diplomatic service. Others were Ugandan-born Bishop Joseph Mary Kizito of Ariwal Diocese in South Africa. The head of the Archdiocese, Jan Leite, Alozia Sewanyana, while reading the institutional message, was first to signal the warning to government to avoid a planned amendment of the land law to abolish the Milo land. He was backed up by the Katikiro of Uganda, Charles Peter Maiga, who also called for an end to attacks against the Kabaka of Uganda. In his response, Prime Minister Robin Anabanja said government has no intention of tampering with the current land law. We are not having any land amendment bill that is on the floor. Neither is it in the cabinet. So sometimes you wonder where people get, get information. It is true we want to regulate land. It is true everybody is concerned of land evictions. It is true that we must, as a government, that's our role, to regulate land, land use and the like, so that our people can develop. We have not yet come up with a land amendment bill. Despite being a Catholic, Nabanja, who rarely prays from Rubaga, was left wandering at the heat in the political statements made. I have discovered that there is some bad politics in the church. People here bring rumors which are not, which, which are baseless. Aria, Bishop Joseph Mary Kizito from South Africa, also called on the Ugandan government to be more democratic in practice. It is my call for me today to say let us learn, let us borrow a leaf of democracy that we cherish in the Republic of South Africa. South Africa. The Turina democracy. We need that. Uh, because he said we are not democratic in Uganda. In South Africa, they are more democratic. But to me, Uganda is democratic because we have uh, gone through elections uh, and we are doing work. And I think let us not politicize everything. In his concluding remarks, Bishop Semogere urged the government of Uganda to provide a conducive environment for all Ugandans to enjoy peace. Murder, violence, torture, blender, and any of the inhumane treatment of others that we are witnessing in our time. Jingo Francis, NTV. Thank you.